Yeah, I know what we said. Forget that. I'm glad you called. Well, I don't have anybody to talk to, and you just help me think. I mean, you're gonna be fine. Your parents are that freaked out, you're better off that you stayed home. Yeah, but they all ganged up on me. I mean, I know I'm right about Stacy. I know it. And they just look at me like I'm a traitor, and... Wait, somebody's at the door. It's Billy. What? It's... it's Billy. You ought to let him in. Wait, I want Billy's to... Billy's the one to talk to. Tell the rest of him. Not me. Thank God. Are you all right? Mr. Stevens is here in this jail. I have to see him. Stacy, everything's okay. We're here now. You're all right. I am not all right. They have to let me see him. Tell them. Hi. Think they'll let me in? They left. I got to thinking I, I shouldn't have taken off on you like that. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, I said that I was fine. No, that's exactly the time where you don't want to feel like you're all alone. I was just running for cover. But even then, I wanted to be here with you. Come on. Here. Any word on Stacy? Yeah, they found her. My parents just went to go pick her up, but I had orders to stay here. My father is furious at me, but I really don't care because Stacy's lying and I think she wants to get out of it, and it's like they won't let her. Yeah. I mean, how am I going to make them see? How am I going to make her see? What am I going to say when they get home? I can't go, oh, great, Stace. There's no need to freak out because Mr. Stevens is safe in jail. Everything's going to be just fine. Well, everything's not going to be fine. It's awful, and it's all her fault. Billy. Well, maybe you shouldn't say anything at all. Well, not at first. Just give her room to talk. Uh, don't say much at all. See what happens. Yeah, maybe that'll work, because fighting with her sure doesn't. Thanks, that was a really good idea. I had some help. What were you reading, dear Abby? How did you know? <laughs> no, I, I talked to our partner. Who? Matt. And he... He gave me some good advice. And he writes jingles. He's a good guy. Yeah, good guy. You expecting a phone call? No. I'm not expecting anything.
we're going home. No, I... I have a right to see Mr. Stevens, and you can't stop me. Darling, even if the sheriff let him talk to you, what would you say? <sighs> That's personal. That's nobody's business. Stacy, what he did was wrong. He has to pay. I have to see him. I have to know that he's all right. I don't want him to be hurt. Look, there's no way in the world I'm ever going to let him anywhere near you. Now, your mother and I are leaving, and you have to come with us. <sighs> would... Would you please give Mr. Stevens a message for me? Please tell him that Stacy said she was sorry and that she never, ever meant this to happen, ever. Please. Come on, honey. Please, no message. Don't worry about that, Mr. Cox. I'm not going to say a word to the guy. I'd keep Melinda company. Hi, Stace. Hello, Billy. Why don't you and Stacy get comfortable? I'll make some tea. Mint, right, Stacy? That's what you like. I'm really glad that you came over. I mean it. You promise you'll call me if you need me? Your sister's fine. Not that you seem particularly concerned. I think I'd like to go to my room, Daddy. You're not gonna get any dinner up there. I'm not hungry. I know that you have too many things to think about right now. You must feel really overwhelmed. But I think that we should start with the basics and then work from there, Stacy. First of all, Every minute of every day, you have to be very clear. This isn't your fault. You did the right thing to come forward and tell us what happened. Don't ever let yourself be confused by that. Oh, gee, I nearly had a disaster. Ian, you'll have some tea. No, thank you. I'll be right back with the tea. What kind did you want now? Mint. Drinking in the kitchen? I had a sip of wine, if that's what you mean. I think it's safe to say my nerves were a little frayed after all that. This must be the third or fourth time in less than a day. You dare make a fuss about a few sips of wine? This whole thing couldn't be your fault, could it? You haven't deserted your family. You didn't bring this on. Tea now. You just feel so much better. Burgers on me, no lie. What's all this? I took your advice, that's why. I went back to Melinda's, took my time, and let her talk. It was great. I mean, it really paid off, man, in a big way. So I'm buying. No, thanks. Maybe next time. You're turning down food? Yeah. My stomach is raw. Cheeseburger. Best thing in the world for stomach pain. Matt, you were so dead on. Really? We felt closer than we ever have. I mean, it was like some strange sort of high. She, she needed me, you know what I mean? 
I don't know. It, it's just, I really felt like, like she was mine. some other guy. You know, even if it is casual, it makes me crazy. What are you gonna do, tie her up? I just keep thinking maybe we should try to go to the same school. I mean, college. Isn't that gonna cramp your style with the women in the big tent? Well, I was just thinking. It's just that the last couple of weeks, I almost thought I felt Melinda slipping away. And I started thinking to myself, damn it, Bill, you could really screw this up. You really help me out there. All right. Sorry, you just you said that about any time, right? Uh-oh. Good news. Hey, Jojo. Great to see you. I owe the both of you guys. What a fight, garbage face. Let's fight. Come on. Come on. You want to be in again? Is that what you want? I mean, probation has checked on your house the last three nights, and you got 15 minutes to get home. On top of that, I find you fighting. On top of that, with these jerks. I mean, my nerves. I mean, let's just drive you straight back to the jail. Just get it over. I owe these guys. Oh, you got one track in that head with a big yellow sign that says dead end. I got it. Sinking feeling that you can't read. So what's your excuse? I'm sorry, I was out of limit. He sure isn't gonna make his probation that way. Thanks a lot for your concern. What the hell's bothering you? I don't exactly buy that. I said nothing. because I 
had to find him. I tried to make them let me see him, but they wouldn't. I have to tell him something. since last night. showing that stupid picture of us to everybody. Mr. Stevens cared about me. He really did. I didn't... I didn't mean to lie at first. I mean... I mean, I... I, I didn't lie at first. I just... Say when. Good morning. I have to tell you something. What is it, honey? How'd you sleep? It's not true. About Mr. Stevens. He never had sex with me. He never even touched me at all. Oh, Stacy. Stacy, darling, don't. Look, you just can't go around adjusting the charges because you feel some kind of compassion for Stevens. Honey, you'll lose your credibility. His attorney might even try to say that you're lying. I was lying. That's what I'm 
I'm trying to say. Mr. Stevens never touched me. The affair was a lie. Not my lie at first. It really wasn't. But I let it go on. And then I made it worse. And now it's my life. And that's... That's why I'm such a mess. That's why I'm going so crazy. Mr. Stevens can't be punished. This is all my fault.